So I spend an awful lot of time on this channel talking about skincare, uh, products that we use in order to deliver the best skin health, but most of it is really focused on kind of this part of the body. You know, it's the face, which comes down to the neck and the chest. And I don't really talk a lot about body care, and that's just as important, and my obsession with good skin, you know, is everywhere. So today I'm gonna to share with you sort of my everyday products, the ones that I'm using on a regular basis to help keep my skin soft and supple. Let's check it out. Don't you dare put that in. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't you dare, good. you've already done that in the past. Do something else. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining today. If you're new here, I'm Mary, I'm 50 years old and I love finding products, devices, methods, anything that's gonna help me look as young as I feel. If you're new here and you like what you see, I really hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos come online, which happens every Friday. So today is all about the body. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I don't feel this is nearly as sort of sophisticated a category as the stuff they put on our face. You know, it seems that most of the research and the technology is focused here, which is fine. Of course, it would be tricky to spend as much money on all parts of our body as I do on my face, because of course there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot more surface <laughs> area there. Um, but I do feel that I would like products with a bit more bang for my buck than I'm generally finding out there in the universe. So I'm actually kind of interested to hear more from you guys on that topic today. Okay, so today I'm gonna walk you through a lot of the products that I'm using on a regular basis. And I'm really hoping at the end of this video, you guys will share with me some of your favorite products because I'm on the hunt. I feel like there's gotta be good stuff out there that I'm just not aware of yet. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with stuff that I do in the shower and sort of the cleanser side of things. Cause you know, every morning I have a shower and I like to get clean. Um, I don't use complicated stuff, but I do use things that I find have delivered results for me. Now the first, which I'm not going to show you because it's a bar soap that is sitting in the shower and it's gross, is the Dove Bar. It's the plain old white bar and it's cheap as chips and I have used it for years. It gets you clean, it doesn't dry your skin out. And as the ads say, it's a quarter of moisturizing cream. Now they have a number of different bars in the range, so there's pretty much something there for everyone. They have sensitive skins and all sorts of stuff. Now I don't have sensitive skin, so I use the regular roll one. Now when I use that, which is about three times a week, I use it with exfoliating gloves. Um, I tend to use these instead of you know gritty exfoliators just because they mess up the shower a lot. So two or three times a week, I use them with these gloves and just get that dead skin off and I find it works like a dream. Both of them, both these and that bar are cheap as tips and easy to find just about everywhere. Okay, the next one that I use in the shower on sort of the days that I'm not using the Dove is this one by Bioderma and it's called their um, the Atoderm um, Shower Oil. No, they say it in French, I'm not even gonna try to do that for you here today. Look at this whopper of a product. So this is one one full liter of product. I'm sorry, it's a little bit manky. <laughs> it sits in the shower. It's one liter of product that costs about 17 euros. So this thing will last for months. So this is specifically for sort of dry, irritated skin. So if you're a little bit older like I am, and I tend to get a bit drier, this is a great product to use on an everyday basis. It's a very, very faint smell, a scent to it that's, that's not um, irritating or annoying. Um, and it's just a soft gel that goes to a little bit of a lather. And I just find it very soothing. It's made with glycerin. It also has citric acid for a little bit of exfoliation and it's got some niacinamide in it. It's just gentle and it really hydrates my skin and it's super duper easy to use. Now I use this with one of the um, shower scrubs because again I find that a little bit of that texture just helps to make sure that I'm getting everything off. So I pretty much use that when I'm not using my exfoliating gloves. Now another thing that I keep in the shower which I'm not going to share with you today is a back scrubber because you know that's sort of part of my back that I just can't get to using any of you know the gloves or the little other scrubber. So I put some of the, um, either the Dove or I use the Bioderma, put some of that onto the back scrubber and just kind of go up and down to make sure that I get that little section in my back. It's incredibly neglected otherwise. Okay, so the next product is actually still in the cleansers, but it's my little bit of luxury. And this is by L'Occitane. This is their shower oil. It's an almond oil shower oil. No, I don't generally buy this because it's a bit on the pricey side, um, but my dear friend Mari gets this for me <laughs> for occasions. Thank you, Mari, and I love it so, so much. And I don't use it every day, or I probably use it once or twice a week just because I covet it so much. <laughs> so basically four of these will pretty much, is probably still less, is still less than this. 
So um, this is just something that I use once or twice a week when I want to feel something just a little bit nicer. Now this has quite a scent to it. So if you are anti-scent or super sensitive, this may not be for you, but oh my gosh, it's one of the things that I love about it. It's almond oil, it's a bit of vanilla, it's just pure magic and it's a bit of luxury and it tends to slow me down a bit when I'm in the shower, which I absolutely adore. It's made with almond oil, grapeseed oil, and also has bergamot oil in it, which is actually an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial ingredient. So this is just a slice of heaven. If you're looking for that little bit of, you know, treat yourself when you're in the shower, uh, you, you need to pick some of this up. Okay, the next one is sort of a new territory for me and not something that I'd ever used in the past. This is a product by a new Irish company called Ground and all of their products in their range are just glorious and I'm enjoying experimenting. Now, I didn't purchase this. This was given to me as a gift by my friend Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. This is called the Balancing Body Oil and I've never really used a whole lot of body oils per se, sort of specifically for the body. Um, I've used other things like rapeseed oil and that kind of thing with lotions just to kind of give it a bit more slip, but this is a fabulous product and I use this generally about three times a week, mostly after the gyms in the morning when I come home. When I'm in the shower, I sort of slightly towel off a little bit so my skin is a tiny bit damp and I apply this all over and it is fantastic. Um, the smell, it has just this really beautiful, just invigorating organic smell. Like it smells of the earth, but not in a bad way. <laughs> and it just leaves my skin so incredibly soft. Now I would still generally put a lotion over it just because it's part of my process, but the two of them combined just, it is absolute heaven. It's made with almond oil, it has grapeseed oil, it has jojoba oil, it also has vitamin E, and it's just divine. And I didn't know that I really needed a body oil in my routine until I got one. <laughs> so this is a brand that I will be purchasing over and over and over again, and I'm sorry that it's kind of monkey mucky, but the oil kind of gets everywhere, but it's a beautiful product. Okay, the next category here today um, are the moisturizers, and there are a couple. And the first is one, I actually spoke about this recently in one of my previous videos, is one I do in the shower. And this is one by Aveeno. And this is a um, moisturizing shower mist and it's designed for normal to dry skin. Now, as I spoke before about that sort of segment in my back that I can't reach, it's the same when I'm moisturizing. I just can't get to that section. So this is absolutely perfect. And I just purchased this over and over again. So what I do is literally, I kind of spray the, you know, the top and then I go and spray up on the bottom. So I'm able to kind of capture that whole space in my back. And it's fantastic and it's super quick drying. So I do that in the shower and then, you know, within a matter of 10 or 15 seconds, I'm able to put on my robe, no bother. So that's one that I will continue to use that I love. Now we're on to body creams. And I think this is the space that just haven't really found the holy grail here yet. There are some that I repurchased for sure and I'm gonna show you two of them here today, but I just feel it's a category that I just haven't found those, those ones that go, oh, which I'm always looking for. The one I'm using at the moment is this one by Advanced Clinicals and it's called um, the Retinol Advanced Firming Cream. So obviously, it's, this isn't the name, it's got a bit of retinol in it and I think that's fantastic. I think retinol for any parts of our body are gonna be good. It helps to strengthen our skin, it helps to rejuvenate our skin, it also helps to build collagen. So it's not in the highest percentages. It's not you know nearly as potent as the stuff I'm putting on my face, um, nor should it be. But it has a bit of it in, in the um, ingredient deck. It also contains glycerin, which I love. It has green tea, it has aloe, it's got a lot of soothing stuff. So it's actually a really, really nice formula. So I've been using this, um, I've been using this for a while now and it's pretty easy to get your hands on, so I do like it. One that I don't have here that I use after the shower as well is by Alpha Skin Care. It is their Renewal Body Lotion, so I'll put an image of it up here. And it's made with a 12% glycolic acid, so it's really helping to exfoliate the skin. It also contains glycerin to hold in moisture, and I actually really, really like the product. Um, however, it's really hard to come by on this side of the pond. So, you know, they list it on Amazon UK for, I think it's 35 pounds, okay? You can get it in America on Amazon for $17. So I'm not buying it when I'm here. If I go home, I'll buy it, I'll ship it to wherever I'm going and I'll pack it and bring it home. But it's not something that I can purchase or I will repurchase at those kind of prices. I think it's crazy talk. Um, but I love the glycolic element to it and I wish that there were more products out there that had these sort of active ingredients, the retinols, the, you know, the exfoliators, the HAs, BHAs, that sort of stuff. So I'm always sort of on the hunt for those. So let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, so the last category that I feel has to be addressed and that's just because it's me, is foot care. If you watch my videos, you may know that I have a certain thing about making sure that my feet are always soft. I wear flip-flops most days, and I think that bad-looking feet are pretty gross. <laughs> 
So I go to great lengths to keep my feet looking good. So probably more than most, there are a couple things that I do, one of them on a daily basis, and I know it sounds like a lot, but it's worth it. So the first thing is I use a foot file, which I think hands down is the best foot file you could possibly get on the market. It is by Margaret Dabbs, and I'm not gonna show you mine because nobody needs to see it. So I will put an image right here. It is stellar. So it's a metal file that has these replaceable strips, and those are like sort of the sandpapery kind of strips to them. It is the most effective thing I've ever used, and I've used a lot of different products. It's designed to be used on clean, dry skin, and I do this once a week, usually on a Sunday after I've had my shower and my feet are dry, and I just kind of get rid of all of those, um, that dry skin, that hard skin, the calluses. You don't need to do it more than once a week. The whole process takes three to five minutes, but you have such incredibly soft skin afterwards. So if you don't have one of these and you care about good looking feet, I recommend you get one. Then when I'm done with that, and every other day after I follow up with, I keep calling this the most unsexy product I have, but it's probably one of my all time favorites, which is the O'Keefe Healthy Feet. Now, this is just a regular lotion. It's designed specifically for, for those feet, those hard feet, those cracked feet. So if you look on their website at the before and after photos, they show a pretty extreme improvement. Now they would, to get that sort of improvement, you need to do it twice a day. But I do this every day when I get out of the shower takes 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, and it's worth it. So between using that foot file once a week and using this product every day, my feet stay in tip top shape. So guys, that's it for me. That's sort of the products that I'm using for my general body care pretty much every day of the week between the shower and the moisturizer and all that sort of stuff. I feel I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing some really good stellar products that could be delivering me better results than I'm getting with what I've got. So this is where I'm really hoping you guys will help. Tell me what you're using. You know, what am I missing? What, I feel like I have tried everything in the drugstore, everything in the grocery store. Now, I haven't done any of the, you know, more of the skincare brands, the higher end brands, because, you know, these are costly products. I'm trying to find something that's sustainable and realistic. I, I spend enough on my face <laughs> that I want good products that aren't gonna break the bank. So if you have any suggestions at all, I would really appreciate if you would share them in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go check me out over there because I do a lot more regular posting, more of a chance to chat over there. So go and check out Skin Obsessed Mary on Instagram. So thanks for joining me today. Again, please put your comments down below. I am dying to hear what you guys are using. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thanks so much for joining, bye. dog is like going like this on my leg. <laughs> I see you dog, but I'm not picking you up. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay. He's just wanting to be picked up very badly. <laughs>